Hey there guys, welcome back to another video, Malik here, and today what we're going to be talking about is the Sigma 17-50 f2.8 EX DC lens. And now specifically this lens is made for crop sensor cameras, because if you were to put on a full frame camera, given that it's less than 24 millimeters, it will have some vignetting. I personally do not have a full frame camera, so I don't have to worry about that. Now, um, let's get into it. So this lens specifically has a locking mechanism just on the 17 millimeter focal range. Uh, it comes with autofocus with no manual override, as well as optical stabilization. So instead of talking about all the fancy stuff that this lens has, I'll just rather get right into it. Okay, so this lens has a 20 centimeter minimum focus distance as well as an aperture of f2.8 that is constant throughout the entire focal range, which basically means that it will have much better blown out backgrounds as well as really sharp image quality. Now I'm upgrading from my 18 to 55 Canon kit lens that has an aperture range of 3.5 to 5.6. And given that it has that aperture range, that it's not constant throughout the focal range, I can definitely have a time where I'm trying to shoot something and then the lighting changes because I'm trying to zoom in on my subject, which is bad because then I have to compensate with the now new aperture with a higher ISO or slower shutter speed. So to fix all of that, I decided to go for this Sigma lens because it has that constant aperture and I don't have to worry about my lighting scene changing because I have an aperture range on this kit lens. But now uh, I can just compare the two and show you what it's like to have both of them. Now you probably won't even see a difference in the both of them because don't get me wrong, this 18-55 to kit lens is a very good lens and it is very sharp as it is. However, the only difference is the aperture. The fact that it's not constant is pretty much my only gripe with that lens, which is why I got the Sigma. So in showing you the these two lenses here in the same type of environment, you may not or you may see a difference. Now given that this is on YouTube, you probably won't see a difference. So without having this uh, unboxing and general overview of the Sigma 17 to 50 go on for too long, basically if you want a constant aperture lens that replaces your 17 to 55 Canon lens, definitely go for this Sigma lens. However, if you're doing video work, make sure you have an idea of how to work with manual focus because this camera has a focus motor that does make a lot of noise. I wouldn't say it's like ridiculously loud, but if you're recording video, you will definitely be able to hear it when you're recording, either on your camera or on your external audio. So definitely be mindful of that. But other than the stepping motor being, you know, kind of, sort of, like a little loud, it's definitely noticeable when it's compared to the Canon 17-55, to which is damn near silent. You know, you can definitely check out that lens, see if it works for whatever environment that you're going to be shooting in, whether it be photography or videography. And yeah, that's all I got to say about this lens. I love it. And definitely check it out. And thank you for watching this video. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.